Definition of a ratio. There are many situations in practice when we need to compare two quantities. Basically, we use two methods for comparison of two quantities, one, by subtraction, for example, when we calculate how much taller a child is compared to one year ago, so that we can calculate the increase in height of that child, and two, by division, for example, when we calculate how much more fruit a large box has compared to a small box, so that we can calculate the number of boxes. Often, it is not enough to simply find which quantity is greater, but a quantitative comparison is needed, in order to know how much a quantity is bigger than another. In these scenarios, we use the concept of a ratio, a method used to compare two quantities of the same type through division. By definition, a ratio is a comparison of two or more numbers by means of division. Thus, if we consider the second assumption about the wealth of the two brothers discussed in the introduction, it is obvious that they have almost the same wealth as 10,050,000 or 10 million is equal to 1, 0, 0, 5. This means that your friend's brother is only 0.5% richer than your friend, so they can be considered as equally rich. This conclusion would be impossible to draw if you simply considered the difference between their wealth. We know that rational numbers are all those numbers that can be expressed as fractions, it is evident that the term rational number derives from ratio. In other words, ratios are numbers of the same type of quantity written as a fraction or division. This means ratios compare by divisions only quantities of the same type, such as in the example discussed earlier where we compared through division two amounts of money. Hence, ratios have no unit as all units are simplified. Another form of representing ratios is through the colon symbol. This is because the colon was the old symbol used for division. The colon is particularly suitable when representing ratios of more than two quantities. Example 1 Two objects have the lengths, 40 cm and 60 cm respectively. What is the ratio of their lengths expressed in the simplest form? Solution 1 we have to write the ratio as a fraction in the simplest terms, that is in the smallest numbers possible. Thus, since GCF of 40 and 60 is 20, we have the following shown on screen. We can use the same approach as when calculating the part of a whole if we know the total and the ratio, and when the amounts represented by the ratio are required. In such situations, it is better to operate in terms of the greatest common factor, GCF. Thus, in the previous example, we could have expressed the greatest common factor, 20, by, K. And the ratio therefore is expressed as the following shown on screen. Let's see the utility of the greatest common factor, K, through another example. Example 2. The female-male ratio in a company is 5 to 4 and the company has 63 employees in total. What is the number of employees from each gender? Solution 2 First, we identify the GCF of the number of employees from each gender. We denote this GCF by K. Thus, from the ratio given in the clues, it is obvious that the number of female employees is 5K and that of males is 4K. Hence, the total number of employee is 5k plus 4k equals 9k, which corresponds to 63 employees. Hence, we have the following shown on screen. Now, we can find the exact number of each category by multiplying the corresponding part of ratio, share, by k. Hence, we have the following shown on screen. We also have the following shown on screen. The same procedure is also used when dealing with ratios containing more than two quantities. Let's see another example to clarify this point. Example 3 Two knots are formed in a 24 meter long rope producing three segments or rope A, B, and C, as shown in the figure which have the ratio 3 to 4 to 5 to each other. 
Calculate the length of each segment in the example shown on screen. Solution 3 Given the ratio in the clues, we denote the pieces by 3k, 4k, and 5k as usual. Thus, we have the following shown on screen. In addition, we have the following shown on screen. We can write the previous clue in terms of k. Thus, we have the following shown on screen. This allows us to find the GCF of the three pieces lengths, here represented by k. We have the following shown on screen. Therefore, we obtain for the length of each piece in the following shown on screen. The proof gives 60 meters plus 80 meters plus 100 meters equals 240 meters, as the clue suggests. That is all for lesson 4.1.1. To continue this tutorial, please watch 4.1.2 Ratios in a Number Line. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.